guys welcome back to my channel so today i thought i'd do a little bit of a haul slash collection because i've been doing my usual crazy spending throughout the last month so i thought i'd share with you all the items i've picked up in the last few weeks and a few of my thoughts so let's get started so the first thing i picked up was this double-sided palette um, I already had like an insert in a sort of one-sided palette for my eyeshadows so I used to have this one with the insert inside for shadows but I wanted to kind of keep all my everyday shadows and all my everyday blushes just in one place because it's just getting a bit crazy, crazy. I needed some organisation. So I picked up this double-sided palette, which is eight pounds, which I think is a really good deal. So as you can see, I have all my um, like day-to-day -day blushes and the inserts in the top. Each of these two pan inserts was two pounds. And then I have my um, shadows that I use sort of every day in the bottom. And it's got this flap here that keeps all your eyeshadows in. The MAC, blushes so it is magnetic but it only the magnet only seems to work if the pans are mac pans i depotted a lot of my mac blushes that were in like the compact form like this i depotted them and those don't stay in so i had to glue them in with my glue gun and um, so some of these shadows like the makeup geek shadows and these like colored rain shadows they um, are, will, will not stay in. So if I was to take this lid off, um, they would fall out. So I had to glue these ones in and that way I just keep it always that way up. It has a really good magnet. So when it's closed, nothing moves about. It's really quite a strong magnet and it's a very hard case. So it is good for travel, but obviously because it has the Mac on both sides, you can't tell before you open it. So you have to be really careful opening it because if there's any that are not really magneted magneted held by the magnet in then they will fall out and could smash so that's a bit annoying but it is a lot cheaper than like the z palettes for a palette that size i wanted the extra large z palette but that's like 25 pounds or it might even be 30 pounds 25 pounds i think and this was eight so i was like go for the bargain Next up, I got one single eyeshadow this month. I've kind of given up buying single eyeshadows unless something massively catches my eyes being really different, really dramatically, you know, different to something I've already got in my collection. I'm just kind of really loving having palettes right now. I've obviously got my singles and there's some that I would replace like my peach smoothie or my creme brulee. I would replace those if I ran out but I'm not really in the market for single shadows anymore. I prefer just to pick up a palette. The palettes are so good now that you can buy a palette that has everything you need that you would have put in it yourself. So I'd rather buy a palette. I feel like they're better for mon your money, but I was just in MAC swatching shadows, swatching things, and I could not ignore this satin taupe shadow. It's just so beautiful. It is so glowy and very different to anything I kind of had. Next up, I picked up this MAC MC50 Studio Fix Perfecting Stick, which is supposed to be a concealer, but I've been in the market for a contour stick, and most of the ones on the market are double-ended, like contour and highlight, and I do not need another highlight. I definitely don't need the stick highlight, which I would never use. I just wanted a contour stick. And I saw these online and wondered if they would work for a contour. So I went into the store and swatched it and they are everything. I've got my contour uh, tutorial up at the moment. So I'll link it down below so you can see me use this. I've had this for like just a few weeks and it, I have not put it down. I use it every day. It has quite a good amount of product. It blends like a dream, but not to nothing. It's very natural. It's very long wearing. It's very easy to use. It's the perfect size to contour. You can use the edge for your nose. I feel like a genius if I'm being honest with you. A genius. Next up, I picked up a MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW25 because I have the shade NW20, but at the moment when I'm a bit more tanned, that looks crazy light and I just wanted more of a natural concealer under the eye. This is closer to my sort of skin tone at the moment. It's probably one shade lighter as opposed to two, 
um, which it has been previously. So NW25 is a really nice, natural, still brightening, but natural and not crazy for an under eye. It's just perfect for me at the moment. Then picked up this blush, which I have never heard anyone talk about until the other week when I saw, who was it? I wanna say it was Dylan Sabah, Sabah on Instagram, used this blush in her tutorial and I just had to have it immediately. So I went on Temptalia and she had reviewed it um, and it was just as beautiful on her. And this is Make You Mine Pro Longwear Blush by MAC. I've been eyeing up raisin for a while, but thinking it's too much for my skin tone, I'd have to be so careful with it. And this is kind of reminds me of raisin, but better suited to my medium skin tone and the finish. It's this gorgeous skin satin finish and the color is just perfect. I have not stopped using it since I picked it up. And I then got the stone lip liner, which let me tell you, I have the stone lipstick, all of those sort of cool toned, brown, taupey shades. I'm all about those shades on my lips. Jeffree Star's Posh Spice, Max Gritty Girl, Max Stone, all of those shades are everything to me. And this has literally goes with all of them. Absolutely perfect. And it also works with all those sort of like purpley, cool toned, lilac type colors that I've been using with a light hand. It really helps makes a difference with those, those sort of um, richer purples and those richer lilacs. And I even picked up the Night Mint color from Max color rocker lipstick which is like a really grey toned green and this just makes that wearable I can now wear lots of lipsticks that I couldn't before because this is just so universal and it really helps make those crazy coloured lipsticks more wearable moving on to ASOS I picked up two things from ASOS this month and one was the NYX matte lip liner in the shade Brooklyn Thorn and this is very similar to Stone but it has more of a sort of mauvey undertone to it and it is just again the drugstore version basically I use this for the first time in my half drugstore half high-end face and it just is very similar to Stone but just slightly more of um, that purpley mauvey undertone to it really works with lots of shades particularly the next item which I picked up from ASOS which is the NYX lingerie liquid lipstick in the shade embellishment yes embellishment again gorgeous use this to kind of try and copy Jeffree Star's Scorpio in that half drugstore half high-end video and it was close it's not a dupe but it was close it is much more drying than the Jeffree Star formula, but the color is beautiful. Next up, I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash, which ultimately is a primer and it is the most beautiful primer. It is so glowy, so luminous on the skin, but as you're kind of working into your skin, it starts to feel more like a smoothing primer. So it does all of that. It's smooth, it brightens, it gives you more of a youthful glow to your, to your skin throughout the day. It kind of does everything I want a primer to do, but I thought I needed to use three primers to get that effect. Can you just see the glow on that? But as you kind of working it in, it turns from a real, lovely luminous liquid into what like more of that silicone type feel that real smoothing feel so it literally does what i've been searching for a primer to do where it smooths where it evens where it glows where it's luminous it does all of those things in one and i am in love i'm in love i got mine from house of fraser because they do a, like a free delivery to a store so you can pick it up without paying delivery um it's 40 mils it is more on the pricey side, but you do get 40 mils as opposed to like the standard 30. You do use a small amount. And for me, you just can't get all of that in one tube anywhere else that I've found. 
Charlotte Tilbury, what a legend. I then got a few items from Beauty Bay this month. I finally picked up Steeler's Heaven's Hue in the shade Kitten. I've been wanting this shade for so long. It's been out of stock. I tried looking on ASOS. They only had the bronze shade in stock. I think they've got it now, so get over there. Um, but yeah, I wanted the shade Kitten. This is the shade I had my eye on. I've wanted it for so long and it has not disappointed me. It is just my favourite highlighter of all time. It's natural, it's wet looking, it's the most beautiful shade, it's wearable, it's buildable from natural to popping, it is everything. It comes with a brilliant mirror so you can travel with it because it's not powdery, it won't smash, it's just everything and I have not used another highlighter really since I got this. It's my favourite of all time all time. Laura Lee, thank you girl, thank you. I then picked up my first ever Dose of Colours liquid lipstick, which I was really excited about. This literally came through the door this morning and it went straight on my lips. This is what I'm wearing now. I'm so happy with it because it's like, it's not a nude, it is a colourful colour, but it's so wearable. It's called um, Rosebud and I wanted to get like four or five of these because I've heard such good things about these and um, the formula being really comfortable. I've had this on for like a couple hours. I've been drinking while I've been filming. It's not moved. It's ever so slightly tacky still, which reminds me of the Jeffree Star formula, that it never feels totally dried down, which allows you that bit of comfort. It's not dried at all. It's not feeling like my lips are not feeling tight it's not come off. I've been drinking from my Coke can. You can see there is no lipstick on there. And finally, I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. Um, I've been using my Benefit Goof Proof for a long time now. As you can probably see, as you can tell, I'm not good at my brows. I can't do my eyebrows. I have terrible natural eyebrows. I have a nice shape, but like there's no brows there. I have no brows in reality. And I'm not good at doing my brows. And I've been struggling with my Goof Proof for quite a while. I previously had the Anastasia Brow Definer and I did prefer that, but you get a lot of product in the Goof Proof and it's just easier for me to get hold of because they have it in boots and I'm lazy. But I'm just not, I'm just starting to fall out of love with it. The color is too dark for me now that my hair is lighter. I'm having to use a very light hand, so I thought I'd go in with a slightly lighter shade, the medium brown shade in the Anastasia. Should be a bit lighter than the shade five, which I currently use in the Goof Proof. And also this is the one with a very thin, fine nib, so I'm hoping that's gonna help me define my brow shape a bit easier until someone pays for me to have my eyebrows microbladed. Volunteers, please. That is everything that I picked up this month in the makeup world. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe so I can see you again. I would love it. Until then, bye bye for now. Bye 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 bye.